Alright guys, so here we are on the tri pillar. Now we're gonna go in and get something that we need. <laughs> yeah, um, there are two items that we need in order to access a place called Giant's Cradle. And one of the keys that in order to access Giant's Cradle is here. So first off, what you're gonna want to do is talk to some monuments. And there are three roads, cooperation and trust, we'll bind them into one. I think this is showing us how to climb the tower. This must mean each of us has to go up separately in order to reach the top. I know it sounds dangerous, but we must separate from here on. Now there, um, there, you don't really need to have a specific path, but in Jack's case, I would recommend, oops, yeah, I would recommend taking the left path because he can get a fast draw hint there. Jack should go to the left path, Cecilia should take the north path, Rudy should take the east path. So we're going to start with Jack and go into the first portal. Mm, yes, before we start this, if you're not, if you haven't already taken a portal, then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna, or if you're not even in here at all, what you're gonna want to do is go into town, get some pinwheels, I believe they're called. Yeah, pin pinwheels, because the boss in this area can can annoy the hell out of you with um, confusion, afflicting attacks. Yeah, so what you're gonna do first is take Jack, head down, get this first treasure chest. Don't bother use hand pan. He can't climb stairs for some reason. I don't know. Head north. And take the first staircase. Not the wall, staircase. Okay. And with Jack, if you find that you, if you start end up fighting um Black Panthers, well they're not called Black Panthers, but they are black in general. What you want to do is you want to fight them. Oops. Jeez. What you want to do is you want to fight them because they will drop you heat solves. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I meant um yeah the heat solves thing that I just told you about. Don't worry about that. Um, for some reason I thought heat solves cured confusion. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, so now that's out of the way, talk to the statue, and you can hear it in my head. The essence of chivalry is the ultimate challenge for a swordsman. You shall master the art of the fast draw. This junkie statue awaits my challenge. Okay, um, first off, th th this is not a challenge, trust me. When You'll still see once you get into the battle, so, um, yeah. Yes, you don't, don't worry about even having to heal at all, just continually use your sonic your, your AoE attack to hit the entire group and you're golden. So anyways, click start with yes and then I'll see you after the, the three challenges are over. They're all easy, don't worry. There we go, challenge is over. I don't, I hope you guys didn't have a hard time with this. <laughs> Alright. You have learned to control your fears well. You have learned the ancient secret, the victory is in your hands. Alright, so now we got our fast draw hint. Now, I completely forgot what it is, so yeah. I'll show you once I master it. So what you're going to do is walk around, go up the staircase here. Then you're going to want to... Yeah, go go up the stairs here. And then the first staircase to your left, you're going to ignore it. And you're going to go down this one here. Then go ignore... No, don't ignore it. Um, go up the staircase here. Sorry, this place gets really confusing. Um, and then take the staircases. Go around and up the staircase here. I, I know I'm calling everything staircase, it's just a bad habit of mine. Um, yeah, so continue heading straight down, you're gonna go through a doorway, which is just, yeah, go through here. Ignore the path on the right, it brings you nowhere. Then you're gonna want to use your grappling hook up here. Go around, grab the treasure chest with hand pan. There we go, secret sign, as usual. If you're gonna do what I do, put it all to meteor blade, meteor dive, and then heal blade. So yeah, there we go. And then we're gonna want to go up the new staircase here. Oh yes, I just decided I'm gonna split this up into three parts. So I'm gonna split up the Jack's part, which is this one, then Cecilia, then Rudy. It'll make it easier for you guys to um, pick and choose who you want to watch. So yeah, um, get the treasure chest here. Use hand pan to activate the switch up there. Go through this. All right, so go crazy on heal berries unless you're Heal blade has low MP usage. Okay, so what we're gonna do is walk around here. There, this is basically straightforward from this point on. So yeah, don't worry about um, getting mixed up anywhere. Go down staircase. Go down stairs here. The right. Oops. The right staircase. And as you can tell, I'm getting hammered like crazy. The enemies on this um the floor below and the ones above that are much stronger than the ones uh, when you first entered. So hey, make sure hand pans equipped. Shoot them across the way. There we go. Take the left staircase. Oh yes, make sure you, um, well, no, never mind. Just make sure you're healing after every battle because, um, at the last three floors are pretty tough. The enemies here get pretty tough. 
All right, so here we go. Jack's part is over. Now, all you have to do is press start and pick Cecilia or Rudy to go to to start the next path. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this. Come back. I will. I will put this. Um, I will release these one day at a time. So, after Jack, it'll be Rudy. It'll be Cecilia then Rudy. Um, a day interval. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna wait like a week or anything for the next one. So, anyway, guys, see see you tomorrow to finish up the tripillar. Or not to village, but <laughs> to get the next path done. Catch you guys later.